I would say that Milotti was a prolific maker. And when we were trying to narrow down a selection for the show, we didn't want to single out a particular medium in which he worked in, which was primarily sculpture, but include an entire range of works, of which there's a lot of drawings and plaster reliefs. It's retrospective in the sense that it does span his entire life, but through the lens of theatre or, or kind of looking at his work within the framework of theatre and storytelling. So you can see early on, he primarily used stainless steel or aluminium and then later when it was available, brass. But a lot of the works, a lot of the sculptural works in this show, which he made in the 70s and 80s, are very much a combination of materials, different metals, fabric, even cardboard and, and tin foil. When I started working on the exhibition, I spoke with Aaron Angel, uh, an artist who's based here and who also runs uh, pottery, about how to display ceramics. And he has designed an alcove in which we're showing the Teatrini, which is partly based on a cave mouth in Bomazo and Greek theatre masks. There's works from every decade, starting in the 20s through to the 80s, but they're almost bookended by drawings of Teatrini. So it's really nice to see how consistent he was throughout his practice and his interests in theatre, how that ran throughout. After we saw the documentation of the stage designs that Melotti made for an opera and a ballet in the 80s, that provided a context with which to look back throughout his practice, but also an opportunity to treat the exhibition as a stage.